Hi everyone, today I'm going to talk about how big is Loader's number. So I think a lot of people, especially if, you, um, if you're interested in big numbers, you probably have heard about Loader's number. It's a very big number. So how big it is? So Loader's number, um, it came from a programming contest whose objective was to write a C program in 512 characters or less that generates the largest possible output. And loader's number is the output of the program loader.c by a person named Ralph Loader. And loader's number, of course, is the winning um, number in this contest and it is one of the largest computable numbers ever devised. So what is Loader's number? So Loader's number could be defined as D 5 and 99. So what does that mean? So it means um, so this D function iterated five times so you could see there are five d's over here and at the end and which is this number 99 so d99 so this five here means this d function repeated five times so you have to start from the right to the left so first you have to compute this after you get the number here you do another this number will become the input of this d and you keep doing this for five times so D of K grows very large for sufficiently large K. So K is the input here. So this function DK grows very large if this number becomes very large. So D99 is a pretty big number. So um, when, when you put a very big number into this function, so it will become an even way bigger number. So that's how Loader's number becomes so big because you have to iterate this step for five times. Each time you get a much bigger number. So how big is D99? So D99, um, it was shown that D99 is way bigger than this number here. Two double arrow 30,419. So I think most of you already know what does this mean. So this number means a power tower of two. So two to the power of two to the power of two to the power of two. Da 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 da. And how many twos are there in this tower? There are thirty thousand and four hundred nineteen twos in this tower. This is a very big number, much bigger than a Googleplex or even Googleplex Plex. And this is just the output for D99. So the next step is D299, which is D of D99. And again, I mean, it was shown that this output is way bigger than this number over here. This is a very, very big number, much bigger than, uh, for example, Graham's number. And this number, it also happens to be the upper bound of the second place winner. So in other words, just D299 is already, I mean, it's enough for um, this guy, Ralph Loader, to win this contest. So this number already bigger than the second place winner. And of course, this is not Loader's number. Loader's number is D599. So um, at the end, um, it was proven that D599, of course, is way, way, way bigger than D299, which is much bigger than the upper bound of the second place. And the final output, D599, is way bigger than even SCG13. And of course, SCG13 is way bigger than G3, and in turn, way bigger than 
Wham's number, G64. So the little number is extremely big. However, it is computable because um, although it's very big, it is still um, it is the output of a computer program, which consists of 512 character or less. So the little number is computable, and therefore it has to be much less than Rayo's number. And Rayo's number is not computable. So there we have it, loader's number. Thanks for watching and have a nice day.